So, um, good morning. Um, update. Good news is, is not too much more is happening, which, um, is good. I'm still like, um, got to figure out this whole weight thing, but I can't, I gotta give myself time. But it's like when I do really good, like at watching what I eat and adding water and exercising, I gain weight. And <laughs> it just, um, I go back and forth because it's so frustrating, but I just, I need to stick with it. I think as long as I'm, you know, watching what I eat and I'm exercising, it should eventually start coming off. I think it's just, um, I'm used to things happening fast, um, and furious, and I'm used to being able to make things happen fast. <laughs> um, I'm not used to being patient and waiting. Um, so, um, all in all, it's good. I um, still have some bad days. I'm not gonna lie about that. Um, but they're bad moments, not full days. Um, so that's good. Um, really good, uh, I think. <laughs> mm. I gotta have my coffee, but, um, yeah, I think that, um, it, it hasn't changed much. Um, now I've only been off the medicine for less than a week, so I don't know that I can feel full results from that. And I think my biggest issue is water retention. And if I'm changing my diet to include more protein and make sure that I'm getting my potassium and magnesium and if if that's the case and I'm still retaining water and I'm drinking a ton of water, um, I'll check with the doctor on that because it just doesn't feel right. You know, um, I'm not, I'm not normally a water retention person. I don't add salt to my diet. If I'm not eating out, I'm not eating salt. Um, you know, I don't put it on my salads. I put a tiny bit on my eggs, but I really don't eat salt, um, I did have lunch meat, which has a lot of sodium in it, but I'm trying to get a little bit more protein and I'm terrible at protein. So I don't know. I'm trying to like figure it out and um, trying to be careful. Um, so that's the most important thing. And, um, you know, one of the things my doctor suggested too is that, you know, I kind of like make notes of my moods and, and why I'm in them and, um, one of the things I'm finding is the uncomfortableness with my body, the water retention and the feeling like that I'm stretched out and that I'm over large and not in a sense of being fat or like looking in the mirror and going, oh my God, I'm fat. I'm uncomfortable. And um, when I get uncomfortable, I feel like just shit because I can't do anything about it. You know, I have to wait for it, to, you know, my body to change and, um, I think that that's a lot of it. It's just you're sitting there and you're feeling uncomfortable. Um, you know, it's like wearing a tight pair of pants and um, you can't take them off. That's what it's like. That's what it feels like. And it's it's a little bit um, hard. That part's hard. So it's, it's, it's a lot more than just, you know, being sad and dealing with it. It's a real physical feeling that's causing me to not feel well and um up here you know mentally because when you can't get that that feeling away um that's really hard um you know like I mean think about it put on a tight pair of pants and sit in them and at night and have your you know whatever your tea or your wine or your beer and and feel uncomfortable like feel like you're totally wearing something horribly tight on you and you can't take it off. That's what it feels like. It's horrible. Um, uh, that's how my body feels. And I know what's causing it. It's kind of personal. <laughs> um, well, actually, when I lost weight, um, I had been heavy most of my adult life. And when I lost weight, I had a lot of extra skin, Well, which was fine. Um, I looked great. But what I did was I had some surgery to remove that skin. And um, I did that mostly because I wanted to do competing. I don't, for those of you who knew, like when I was really good shape, I wanted to, to compete. Well, to do that, I needed to um, get rid of that skin because there was no way to fill it. Um, and so I did. And that surgery is now um, coming back to haunt me. Um, I don't want to say that because I don't, 
I'm not, not glad I did it. And in a way it's good because um, I think maybe if I wasn't feeling this way, I might get really fat um, because if I wasn't uncomfortable, then um, maybe I wouldn't care and that wouldn't be good either. So, um, however, it's just frustrating for the moment until I start bringing that weight down. Um, so anyway, I don't want to be long winded and um, I know that you guys are out there just listening. I'm okay. I have moments. Um, like right now I'm having a hard moment. I don't know why. Um, weird. Because um, I thought I felt good this morning, but kind of, I don't know. <laughs> but it does, they don't last. So it's not like I live with it all day long. I don't want anyone to think that I don't. Um, at least not right now and not, not fairly recently. Um, the job thing, I'm, I'm finding ways around it so that I can deal with it better. Um, you know, you just got to make things work and... I just have to take charge. No one's helping me, you know, to um, fix it, um, which is too bad. I don't have um, anyone to really reach out to and go, how do I fix this? You know, my boss tells me, well, you know, it, it is what it is. And I'm like, no, it's not what it is. If someone's really unhappy and uncomfortable and someone's pissing them off, it's not it is what it is. Um, something needs to be done. And I've just realized that it's up to me to figure out how to get around it and um, it just stinks when you um, you can't count on you know someone upper management to help you figure it out you know like come up with ideas or help you or brainstorm you have to come up with them yourself and all I have to do is say you know what I'm going to take full credit for it though I'm not going to tell anyone anyone help me if I think people have patted me on the back and said hey that was a great idea well yeah thanks you know, that's what I do. I'm a problem solver, so I'll continue to prob solve them, prob problem solve <laughs> and uh, deal with it. So so that part, I mean, I'm just doing it one thing at a time and um, dealing with the best I can and the way I can. And that way it keeps me from getting stressed and pissed and all of that. And that's saving a lot. So um, that's good. So just hi and um, thanks for being here because it I know that I'm talking to someone I'm not just talking to the camera that I know there's people behind there listening so thank you for that